Hello and welcome back to the horror video games. Today I'm talking about the puzzles in horror games. Now the reason I like the puzzles in Resident Evil Remake is first and foremost because they're quite simple. I, I can't say I'm a big puzzle fan in my, in my video games, especially horror games. Because for the main reason that I feel puzzles or bad puzzles or long-winded puzzles or awkward puzzles, I feel like they detract from the narrative of the game. I feel like puzzles interrupt the narrative flow of horror games. Now the puzzles in Resident Evil I feel are very well integrated into the context of the game world. For example, it's George Trevor, the architect of the mansion, who has come up with these designs, come up with these traps and problems for the player to solve. And this gives an impression for the player that the puzzles are associated with a character, and in this case, George Trevor. And also, then that association goes with George Trevor's family, Jessica and Lisa Trevor, who are introduced into the game later on. It's this association the player has with the puzzles and the designer of those puzzles, which help cement the two together and makes the gameplay experience more cohesive. Now, most other horror games, with when it comes to puzzles, they simply drop puzzles into the game world, and it feels like it's more about gamic expectations rather than any serious attempt to help with storytelling. For example, there are moments in, in Amnesia when you have to solve some puzzles, and they feel like they've been tacked on into the game. They feel like the game's developers were like, right, okay, they're going to go from A to B, B to C, and then and then there's going to be a puzzle here, and then they're going to walk for a bit more, then, then there's going to be another puzzle. I feel like it's the expectation of gamers to have puzzles in horror games. That's why these games just seem to tack them into the game. And the puzzles in Amnesia have no relevance to anything. You're balancing weighted objects, you're kind of balancing walkways and bridges, and it just doesn't, it doesn't have any relationship to the storyline of Amnesia. Now, your player in Amnesia is trying to figure out who he was, what did he do before the Amnesia, and he's trying, it's this process of discovery, but these puzzles which are just so, just randomly injected into the game, have no relevance with the story. And as the player works through the Spencer Mansion, you start to understand the madness of Spencer, you start to understand the madness and the expectations of George Trevor to make the mansion and do as Spencer wished and, and make this crazy mansion with these crazy puzzles and, and it's, it's interesting because it's the designer's choices of puzzles which ultimately leads to George Trevor's demise. The puzzles in Resident Evil carry this feeling of betrayal, this kind of backdrop of being stabbed in the back or dishonesty and, and it's got this kind of, puzzles have this kind of conflicted quality to them. So we can see in this example that puzzles in Resident Evil carry a backstory, whereas I can't think of many other horror games which do this to the same extent, actually. When I'm playing a horror game, I like to enjoy the flow of the narrative, going from scene to scene, and then maybe there's simple puzzles in the way that take a few minutes to figure out, and then you go from that scene and go to the next scene. And I don't like to be fiddling around with awkward puzzles. I just feel like I just want to progress the storyline. I want to do the simple puzzle and move forward. And I, I just don't see how a complex, annoying puzzle helps with the narrative flow of horror games. I think bad puzzles can lead to frustration and irritation, and possibly they can actually prevent players from actually completing the game at all. So I think bad puzzles are a big problem in certain games. So those are some of my thoughts on puzzles in Resident Evil. I feel they are tied in with the story. And also, you have to think to yourself that the puzzles are integrated within the game world because it's George Trevor's design of the mansion. You are working through George Trevor's design and the puzzles are part of that design. So the puzzles have this great context with the story of the game. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. You can tweet me at the horror of VG, or you can see my blog at thehorrorofvideogames.com. See you next time.